Hiya. Here I am in the garden, and it's a gorgeous day, and I'm just looking at blooms and just loving all the spring flowers and the birds tweeting. But I just thought I'd tell you all about my fabulous new apple tree. Here it is, look. There. Isn't it stunning? Beautiful apple blossom. There, and I've got it planted against this beautiful old brick wall. And then around the base, I've got some lovely sage. And Mungo likes it, don't you, Mungo? Yes. Anyway, I've got it planted with lots of lovely sage there. And this is a very simple apple tree I bought from the garden centre. And it's a Cox's orange pippin, so a really beautiful dessert apple. And um, what I'm going to do with it once it's uh, fruited in like, July or September is I'm going to espalier it. Now, to espalier a tree, um, it's a wonderful space-saving and decorative look, which can go in any small garden um, and it's a beautiful way of fruiting and decorating a, a south-facing wall um, but anyway the word espalier comes from Italy and it means I lay my head on your shoulder which is quite sweet because uh, this lovely apple tree is laying its head on the shoulder of my lovely old shed here but anyway so all um all these mad uh, uh, shoots are all getting a bit out of control and it's quite a disciplined thing doing an espalier. So what I'm going to do when it's fruited, I'm going to cut out and prune these big wayward um, shoots out because an apple tree naturally wants to grow up and we want this to grow from side to side. So we'll, we'll cut out all the mad random ones that are going up and then train the ones flat against the wall. Do you see this? So one would train that flat against the wall, nice and tight, for next year. And uh, it's just a wonderful decorative look. It's quite smart and it's perfect for a little space. Anyway, hope you enjoy your gardens or someone else's garden and stay safe. Bye. And enjoy your fabulous flowers. Bye.